The OnePlus 12 is shaping to be the one of the biggest upgrades in years, boosting a larger display, triple camera system, complete with a longer 3x telephoto camera, Snapdragon 8 Gen 3 chip, and speedy 80 watt wire charging. Wireless charging also makes a return, which simply adds more value to its already outstanding package. After one cursory glance at the OnePlus 12, I almost mistook it for the OnePlus 11 because it bears a strong resemblance to last year's flagship, complete with the same circular hump featuring the rear cameras. What I still love about the OnePlus 12 design is its ability to maintain a clean look thanks in part to how the rear textured casing ripples smudges. Other changes to the design include a repositioned alert slider that's moved from the right edge to the left, a front-facing 32MP camera is now centered on the display, and the addition of the most peculiar thing on the OnePlus 12, an IR blaster fashioned into the top edge. It's been years since I have seen one, but to find one here means from utility from this value flagship Android phone. The only complaint I have about the OnePlus 12 design is that it feels a lot more dense this time around while also making the phone more top heavy. Sure, the added weight certainly gives it a substantial feel in my hand but I don't even want to imagine what all the added weight could do if it accidentally smacks the floor. There's a 6.82 inch 2K Pro XDR display on the OnePlus 12, which is an increase in size over the 6.7 inch screen of the OnePlus 11. Even better, OnePlus claims that its now display can reach a peak brightness of 4500 nits, a mind blogging achievement if true because last year's OnePlus 11 was rated for up to 1300 nits. I'd be shocked if the OnePlus 12 does reach that blinding level, but I'd be more content if it could at least best some of the brightest display we have tested like the 1550 nits of brightness of the iPhone 15 Pro Max. We'll find out later when we can get the phone in front of our light meter for reading. Aside from that, I still like how the edges of the OnePlus 12 are curved ever so slightly to better wrap around my hand more comfortably. I have previously talked about the biggest stigma that has followed OnePlus phones since the very beginning, how OnePlus often hypes the camera in its flagship only to have them underperform compared to rival devices. However, that could change with the OnePlus 12. The new phone comes armed with an 4th gen Hasselblad camera for mobile system that consists of a main 50 megapixel camera, 14 megapixel ultra wide, and a 64 megapixel periscope camera with 3x optical zoom. The latest step above the OnePlus 11's 32 megapixel 2x telephoto camera, but I suspect its telephoto abilities will be boosted with the help of computational photography and the phone's 6s sensor zoom. In fact, it is very similar to the OnePlus Open's telephoto camera with 3x optical zoom, which I have found to deliver excellent results that rivals the 5x optical zoom of the Google Pixel 4. I am very optimistic about all the upgrade camera hardware of the OnePlus 12. With its fourth generation Hasselblad camera for mobile, it should produce professional great portraits through head to head testing with other top camera phones will tell the tale. However, I can't stress enough about the importance of low-light performance, an area where OnePlus continually underperforms, we'll soon see if that changes. Over on the video side, you can expect the usual 4K 60fps recording, but there's an option for 8K video recording. In true flagship fashion, the OnePlus 12 features a Snapdragon 8 Gen 3 chip paired with an upgraded cooling technology that should keep the phone at optimal performance and temperature. We have already seen phenomenal benchmark scores from Qualcomm's latest chip in our Red Magic 9 Pro review, so I expect nothing less out of the OnePlus 12. That now cooling system features an all-new dual cryo-velocity cooling system with the largest vapor chamber ever in any phone. It should keep graphically intensive games from overheating the OnePlus 12, especially with those extended play times. But I am curious if it will help out when continuously recording 4K or 8K video with the phone. 
I am already excited about the OnePlus 12 because it could be the perfect affordable flagship I have been waiting for. OnePlus has often proclaimed its premium devices as flagship killers and I think that still stands given the listed OnePlus 12 specs. However, I will save judgment once an actual price is revealed and we can get her a better sense of the phone's value. Beyond the price, the OnePlus 12 design looks sleek and it feels solidly built, but most of all, I'm eager to see how its upgraded cameras perform. It's the one thing that will define it whether or not the OnePlus 12 can slip its chief rivals and finally take the crown as the best phone. I am hopeful because the OnePlus Open proved me wrong when I had a chance to taste that phone. Maybe history can repeat itself this time.